Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today we're going to be talking about shadow resolution on Assetto Corsa and how to get better and how to get worse shadows, how to improve performance by lowering shadows or how to get better graphics with shadows regardless of performance. So the first thing we're going to look at is the one everybody knows, which is the shadow resolution in a set of course of video settings. And I don't recommend putting it on those not recommended ones unless you have a tank of a PC and maybe you're playing in single player. To see the estimated performance that it's going to take, you hit the eye here, which is going to pop up a window and letting you know that on average your performance hit is 4.8% at this shadow resolution. Whereas if you go to 4096, you will see that now it's at 12%. And this is in the base game for the base tracks with the base cars. This isn't accounting for mods or bigger tracks or anything else like that. So for me, I like to run 2048 because it's a nice line in between too crispy, not crispy enough, and they don't flicker on 2048. Now to continue with the shadows <clears throat> what we need to do here is we need to go to smart shadows and what you'll notice here is if you want you can increase or decrease the overhang multiplier and what that's going to do is increase to make the transition sharper increasing effective shadow resolution <clears throat> so what that means is that if you lower this number your shadows will not have as clean transitions, especially at a distance. And also in here, you can change your shadow distance. So you can render your shadows further so you notice them popping into the screen less. How this works is if you sit here and increase this and increase this and increase this, we are going to get worse, worse performance, but we will have better graphics. Now, if you want to lower your shadows and you don't want the, you know, the graphical fidelity and you just want the performance, then all we need to do is come in here and lower these shadow settings here. And that's not everything, okay? That's also not everything. You can completely disable the fourth cascade. And another thing that we can do is we can also go into weather effects and we can also check out a couple things in here like using extra visual effects, extra cloud fidelity, post-processing, there will be a couple small things that is affecting some of how the shadows may or may not look in very specific situations, but the main thing you're looking for is smart shadows, and the main shadow of the first um, CSP, or AC video part, sorry. And then, we also want to look at colorful shadowing. If you're racing with cars that have the banners on the windshield that are transparent and see-through and are scripted for it, they will also display colorful shadow effects, which is also nice to have. Now let's go down to particles effects. And what, what do you have in particles effects, you might ask? Well, if you look at the flames, you can cast shadows on flames. If you do new smoke and dust, you can cast shadows on that. If you do smoke, you can cast shadows and change the smoke settings and all that kind of stuff. So under particles effects, if you're noticing that your game looks really, really bad for shadows while you're doing burnouts and drifting, come into here and mess around with your smoke settings a little bit and your pieces of dirt settings and all that stuff and see if you can come in here and get your shadows to look better in those scenarios you have cast shadows for smoke cast ambient shadows for smoke there's all sorts of different settings in here that are also going to be affecting shadows in the game so this is a whole bunch of different ways 
that you can come on to Assetto Corsa in Content Manager and fix up your shadow resolutions, all right? It's not just come into AC Video and change your shadow resolution. No, it's Assetto Corsa Video. It's the Smart Shadows. It's Particles Effects. And there's also the Weather Effects thing. There's also the Colorful Shadowing thing. There's at least four, five, maybe six different settings here's another one shadowed wheels i forgot about that you want to always have that on for the better looks seven eight settings that are all going to affect your shadow resolution this is why it is so hard for people to get the game to look really good in all of the scenarios because the settings that you have or what you think you have that are enough are actually not enough and you have to progress further into content manager and deep dive and look for more fixes for your shadows <clears throat> the other thing that we have to know is there are also other settings like motion blur and ambient occlusion which is another form of shadowing that we can find in extra effects right and sometimes motion blur and ambient occlusion won't look good together things just happen in the game there are sometimes settings that don't look good together or they cause another setting to not look as good as it should look anyways guys this video should help you get your shadows to look stellar look amazing or look like trash so you can run really good performance whatever you choose it's up to you all decisions are respected here have a good day, everybody. Take care. Stay gaming. Fix your shadows today.